Hello everyone, my name is The Elder Acorn. In this video, I'll be taking you through the Forge Hub community favorites for the month of March. So we had an interesting outcome with the contest. We had three maps that all tied for second and third. The first map to score 10 points was Pharos, created by Canadian Echo. He built this for the 1v1 competition. This was one of the maps that almost made the top three, but there was a few things holding it back. This map ultimately looks really good. It was built on the Nebula canvas and he used a really cool piece theme and he used a nice yellow color on all the blocks, so it really makes the map stand out from other maps. Gameplay wise, the map mostly revolves around the corners of the map. There's one teleporter that will take you cross map and the weapons on the map you're gonna to wanna to look out for are the sniper rifle and the overshield. The next map on the list to also score 10 points is the map Celestial built by Moo43. Now this is an HCS style map so it's very fast paced, very frantic and very open, uh, something a lot of those players seem to like. And it plays Slayer, King of the Hill, Oddball and Capture the Flag as well. It's a very vertical oriented map which is really fun, there's a lot of overlay experiences that can be had on the map. There's a lot of ways to traverse between these levels too so there's a lot of gameplay between the two levels which is something some vertical maps seem to lack. And as I said before, the map is very open, and this can be a negative thing as it affects some of the movement on the map. But overall, if you like that playstyle, then this is definitely right for you. Overall, it's a really fun map to play, and it can get really competitive. Definitely something you guys should download and check out. The third map to place with 10 points is the map Antagonist that was built by Corlash823. This is also submitted for the 1v1 competition, although I found that this plays really well for 2v2s, even more so than 1v1s. And this is an old design, this was built back in Reach and then recreated in Halo 4 and then once again recreated in Halo MCC. The map is heavily inspired by Quake design and original Halo CE design. It consists of three rooms and one main atrium in the middle that connects the rooms. There's also one teleporter that takes you from bottom green all the way to the top of blue, so that's something that you need to look into. Although the map is complex, there's a lot of visibility to the map just because of all the windows that go into the different rooms, and there's a lot of fun interactions between the catwalks and the rooms and the windows. Overall, it's very competitively laid out and it's very fun. One thing I would say about this map is that there's a lot of power weapons on the map, and that's definitely something you need to control because they spawn at very fast timers. So there's a rocket, a sniper, an overshield, a camo, and a silenced SMG, and they spawn very quickly, so especially for 1v1s, you're going to want to try to control those as much as possible. Alright, now let's jump into the first place map. Now with a whopping 29 points, the map Eden, created by Waiho, has been voted your community favorite for the month of March. Eden is a small asymmetrical map, it was built for HCS settings like some of the other maps, and this actually was picked up by 343 as one of the potential candidates for HCS, so there is a possibility you might be seeing it in that tournament play. The map is set up for Slayer, King of the Hill, and Oddball. The gameplay in the background is obviously King of the Hill as you can tell. Now the map also has 4 or 5 towers, and these are very important to try to hold in the gameplay. They offer you lots of key sightlines, and especially for hill, it's really important to hold the tower that's right next to the hill. And a lot of the movement does push you around the outskirt routes of the map, and there's not a lot of incentive to go through the middle, especially bottom middle, but sometimes you can take these routes to flank an enemy, and they can be used in a lot of ways. And there's also a teleporter that'll take you from the bottom to the top, and one lift, so these are very important to know where these are and how they work, and to be watching those as well. The weapons you're going to find on the map will be a sniper, a sentinel beam, and a camo, as well as 8 grenades, so um, be on the lookout for those and try to control those as well. Now the map can be played for various lobbies, it's very flexible so you can play 1v1s, 2v2s, or 4v4s. It is recommended to play 4v4s however. And that is all I have for the map, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see your map get in one of these videos in the future, just submit your maps to Forge Hub and if they get well received and voted up then they can be in this contest, they can even win the $30. Uh, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.